Hello and welcome to this module. Today we are going to handle the time scale in MS Project. I'm Christian from Vision 6D and to do that I'm taking a shorter form of a project on which I worked. The project was the design from the marketing stage of a PTZ camera. PTZ stands for a camera that can pan, T for tilting, tilting, and then Z for zooming. In that project there was hardware development, there was software development, and we went up to production. And of course, production people, they don't like to work with the default values on the time scale found in MS Project. In MS Project you usually find the months and the day. Production, they like to work with the number of the week during the year. So I'm going now with you to change this and we are going to do it together. In the Gantt chart we see the time scale is in three parts. We see at the top the year, below we see the quarter and the last one are the week numbers. You surely have noticed that I also have two columns. One is when the task start, in which week is the task starting, and the second in which week is the task ending. You have an overview of the project with the columns here standing where with the weeks and here also horizontally the weeks. When you open a new project, you see that the time scale here defines the, the date and then after you have days. So it's this that for our project we needed to change. To change the time scale, we come on the line here and click on right button and time scale. And here we'll be able to bring our changes. The window is separated in several parts, but we see here the top tier, the middle tier, and the bottom tier. There is also the possibility to define non-working time, but we'll be interested by the different tiers that we have here. What it means is that the time scale that we see here, actually we see it with two lines. Those two lines, if we jump here in the middle to show, we see that are shown two tiers, middle and bottom. We are going down to the bottom tier and here we see that the definition for now is the months. It's here that I would like because you see that it can go from years, half years, quarter, months, etc. down to minutes. What interests me is weeks. We'll go with weeks here inside and you see that already something has changed in the sample we have here down. And now here it's the label that I want to use, which is the numbering from 1 to 52. So I'm selecting this and you see that already here inside I have the number of the weeks. If I want to see more weeks on the same time line, I can here reduce and you see that here down in the simulation we already see more weeks represented. We see that we have now the week numbering in place. We have now moved to the top tier and we've defined three tiers in our representation. The top tiers is already defined as the quarters, which for me is fine. This labeling, I would like to change it for something a bit more concentrated. Like that, I have the three elements with the three tiers I'd like to have. I will now define the middle tier as being months. We find, as expected, the year, the months, and here below, the number of the week. This is really an interesting project. It's 
for a new PTZ. PTZ standing for those new cameras that you can remotely use to pan, tilt or zoom. It's Christian from Vision 6D and in this project we've already set the time scale to weeks instead of days. And what is left to us it's now to show you how here you see we have columns in which we have the start of a task as week number and we have the finish of a task also as week number. And now I'm going to do this with you. I'm now going to add the start week column, but that kind of column doesn't exist. So I'm going to pick a text column and adapt it. For this, I've inserted the column and now I'm going down and define the specific fields that I want in this column. What I'm going to use is a formula for this field. You see among the custom attributes here, I have the possibility to define a formula. Whenever I do that, MS Project is warning me that uh, if there were data into this field, they would be removed. So I simply say OK, and now I'm going to insert a formula. The formula, I copied it. I won't enter into the details of that formula. It will be the same for the start and the finish, a part that we have here, a keyword that is start, and the second one, it will be finish. So I'm simply saying here, OK to that. Once again, I have the warning that my data will be wiped out. I'm saying OK. And now, and now, what will happen? Let's say, let's try it. And you see, MS Project has calculated for us into this column the start weeks for each task. Now, what I'm going to do, it's here to come and do exactly the same for the other column. I'm adding a custom column. So for this, once again, I'm going to insert that time text to and I'm editing the fields. It's exactly the same. I'm going to pick a formula here. And now we'll see what happens. We're fortunate enough that the calculation is just fine. So we see that, for example, here requirements, they would start week 22 and finish at week 29. Now, what I want to change, it's the header of each column. For this, I come here up and I go into that time field settings. And you see that I will keep the field name as text one. And it's the title that I will change to start week like that we have it for the first column and of course i'm going to do exactly the same for the the second column which will be the finish week like that we have two headers that are really saying us what's the content of those columns now you know how to change the time scale that you can see the weeks and the week numbering. For me, it's always a pleasure to exchange those knowledges with you. And all what is left to me, it's to wish you a great time and hope to see you soon for our next module. Bye bye.